If not, look at your moon, your rising, your Venus, all that good stuff. Y'all need a private reading. All the info is below. And the special for September is will they return? So you can book it right below. All right, Scorpio, let's see what the hell is going on. So I think we're shuffle, but we're going to do a few more here. What do we see coming in for Scorpio in love, please? August 29th through September 4th. Y'all know time's fluid, so it's just whenever this hits home, but that's what I'm going for. All right. Sometimes I say bad words if you're new to my channel. As always, if it offends you, just hard left, right? But I hope you stay. Don't go. Stay. Just cover your ears. I could always give a warning, I guess, right before I do it. But, well, that's not very Aries moon of me, is it? All right, let's see what's up for Scorpio in love. All right, let's cut her up and see what we need to chat about, Scorpio. What's coming in for you guys? In love, what's up? Coming into the current moment. Ooh, the big bad Knight of Swords. That Knight of Swords has something to say, doesn't he, Scorpio? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. What's influencing that Knight of Swords is the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo. Got a couple knights here. What's up with that? On your mind, Scorpio, is the Six of Cups. All right, what happened in the recent past? Ooh, the Page of Cups in reverse. Pisces energy for me. Situation, the Knight of Wands. I mean, could we get any more Knights, Scorpio? Could we? I guess we could. We could get the Knight of Cups, couldn't we? We've got a bunch of Knights here. What are you guys up to? Coming into the near future, you got the Ten of Wands. Yeah, no shit, because you probably got all these people, right? I mean, who wouldn't love to be a Scorpio? Everybody wants Scorpio. Uh, you see yourself right now as the Three of Pentacles. What are they bringing? What's going on in your environment? Well, they're bringing the big fat wand. And it's really no surprise with three people showing up in your reading already. Somebody wants to give Scorpio the wand. All right. And it looks like a pretty nice wand. I'm just going to throw that out there. In your emotions, what do you have? You have the four swords. Yeah, you probably need a break. All right. After all this, you're going to need a little recovery time, Scorpio. Who could blame you? And the outcome, we have the... Leave me alone. I will not reveal what I want. Also known as the High Priestess sign of Pisces. Very Scorpionic. I always feel like the High Priestess should be Scorpio energy, but she's not. She's Pisces, but well, we'll just call her what we want, and I think it's Scorpionic. All right. All right. So, but the High Priestess is, you know, using her intuition, kind of secretive, again, sort of like Scorpio, very mysterious, not revealing everything. All right. What's at the bottom of the deck? Well, we have more Pisces energy with the Hanged Man. All right. Taking a minute. Taking a minute after probably walking away from something with the Eight of Cups in pursuit of your happiness. All right. Let's pull you down and see what's going on. It looks like a lot. All right. It looks like there's a lot going on for Scorpio. All right. Only, only two major arcana, though. Not crazy. All right, so the overall energy coming in right now, again, with the Hings Man. I feel like you guys are just, it's very spiritual energy for me. Look at the light bulb. Scorpio's having, like, a light bulb moment. Okay, gaining some clarity on what? Maybe on the Knight of Wands. I don't think necessarily that all these knights are, are different people. I think a lot of it's the same energy. In the foundation, we have this Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy for me. But, you know, the Knight of Wands is also a player... All right. We, it's interesting because we have all this knight energy and no kings. So you think, again, whether you're female or male, Scorpio has been dealing with that very in and out energy. Okay. And I think Scorpio is tired of it with that ten of wands coming in. I do. And that's why you're just kind of taking a pause and looking at everything in a new perspective. Why do these knight of wands take people keep coming at me? All right. So let's shuffle the clarifying deck and see what we can uncover here on the FBI channel, also known as Scorpio. All right, let's see what's up. Coming in, yes, we have that Knight of Swords energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Sometimes that Knight of Swords is exiting, right? It's just the energy of somebody taking off and taking off quickly. It can be arguments. It can be kind of that energy of... Are you coming for me? Come for me and see if you don't get a tongue lashing. It could be like arguments, drama, you know, quick, quick energy. Somebody's being kind of impulsive, but it's also just taking a big fat seat with the energy and take it off. Okay. So let's see what's up for Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Again, August 29th through September 4th. What's up? Scorpio. I just get the sense that, again, with all these knights here, that's the challenge for Scorpio, is people that are just not staying. People are coming, they're going, 
Could be here too, Scorpio, right? Why is the hanged man here, though? The overall energy, Pisces energy, the empress, yeah. Because Scorpio, again, whether you're male or female, this is what you want. If you're male, you want the empress. Libra and Taurus energy. If you're female, this is you. You're in that empress mode. You know your worth. And so what you're doing is you're just taking a time out here, right? You're reflecting on what you want, what you don't want. And you know that you're the big bad empress. I love her. She's amazing. Okay. Expansion, growth, moving forward, right? She's giving birth to new creative ideas, new love. She values herself and she knows that she's the damn empress. Look at the jewels on her. Okay. So that's what's happening right now. I think that's just what I'm getting here. Because coming in right now, we've got this Knight of Swords. Is somebody taken off? Why is the Knight of Swords here? Or somebody, there was some communication that may have been rough. The King of Swords. I think that you cut something out. A lot of Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. A lot of communication. But it may have been kind of like F you, F your mom, F your dog, F everybody in your life. And then somebody just took off. It's like cutting something out. Because the challenge is the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. What is this? The Ace of Cups, yeah, healing, okay, and also new love, but I'm getting more healing. What's influencing this is the Knight of Pentacles just moving forward. I think that's your energy. Very slowly, very carefully, right, because you've cut something out, that there was probably some drama around. So, again, with the Ace of Cups, this is about self-love. There's a lot of self-love. The recent past, Page of Cups in reverse. Somebody took back their cup, didn't they? Or maybe you were dealing with another water sign. Could have been somebody that was very immature with their emotions, Hi, thanks for showing up, Queen of Cups, because there you are. Look at this shit. Look at the difference. Again, whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. This is what you were dealing with, or somebody took away their cup, and then this is you. Age difference probably could be, but just a maturity, a maturity level, too, difference. You had your emotions in balance, and you were also using your intuition on this shitty page of cups in reverse, whomever that is, and just cut something out. You guys handle it more like a grown-up, it kind of looks like to me. So, I'm just throwing that out there. I don't know. I felt like saying it. On your mind is the Six of Cups. Why is this here? So, again, loving, nurturing, emotional. You know, Scorpio's, like, getting their shit together. Nostalgia. Oh, my God, you got the Six of Cups on the effing Six of Cups. Okay, I also feel, again, you guys might be reminiscing a little bit about past relationships that brought you happiness, childhood, that kind of thing. I don't really feel like y'all want to go back to the past. I'm not feeling it, all right? But, uh, you know, justice. Yeah, balance, Scorpio doing the right thing, Libra and energy here, but with justice, karma, doing the right thing and bringing balance and, and harmony and all that good shit back to play here. A lot of spiritual energy and a lot of like karma and looking back at the past and making things right with your own energy. Okay. After leaving these players behind, because in the foundation, we've got the Knight of wands. Who is this Sagittarius energy? As I say, Sagittarius energy, look who comes out major arcana for temperance. Well, she just thinks she's badass, doesn't she? I was just looking at her. She's like, I don't even need to wear a shirt. I'm the fucking shit. And here comes the sun. Okay, so healing, okay? I think the situation, again, could be a Sagittarius. We have two Sagittarius cards there, Scorpio. But the situation is just bringing balance to this situation where people are just in and out. I'm just getting that very in and out energy when it comes to love. You guys are being patient with temperance. Your emotions are in check. All your energy looks really good. This is kind of just about cleaning house and getting rid of people that just are not serious. Now, coming into the near future, you got the Ten of Wands. What's this? Well, it's the Five of Cups in reverse, okay? It's interesting because the Ten of Cups, or the Ten of uh, Wands, did I say Cups? It's the Ten of Wands, okay? But remember, Ten is completion in tarot. So, I feel like this is an end, really, to these burdens of this energy, this person, whatever the fuck it is, right? Coming in, and I also feel like y'all are going to be really busy because the Ten of Wands, can be, there's just a lot going on. Your back's breaking, right? I think a lot of you guys are hard at work, too. And with the Five of Cups in reverse, you know, this is getting over the past. This is realizing you still have some cups in front of you. You guys are giving a lot of your time, and you're being very nurturing to people or a certain person. Something like that is what I keep feeling. Why is this Five of Cups in reverse? Yeah, see, the Nine of Swords. I'm going to clarify that again. What's this Nine of Swords about? Why will Scorpio experience this Nine of Swords? 
the Queen of Pentacles. I think this is work for you guys coming in. I think you guys are going to be really, really busy with work. I do. And it's helping you to kind of get over the past when it comes to love. You're just focusing somewhere else. Remember that Empress Energy can be that too. Projects, work, being nurturing, being, you know, giving and loving. Okay. Um, family, maybe some of you guys are single moms or dads or something like that. There's going to be a lot going on. I think that this 10 of wands and the nine of swords is more just being really, really busy. The nine of swords like up late at night. Some of you aren't going to be getting much sleep. And I think it's because a lot of you guys are putting work into something. Why do Scorpio see themselves as three of pentacles? The six of swords in reverse. I don't feel like this is you unable to move on. I just don't. Six of swords in reverse is wanting to go back to something. It's also the in inability to come to some sort of resolution, right? <clears throat> and I think you guys are just throwing yourself into work. Some of you are starting to think about dating again with that three of pentacles. That can be a very social card, okay? Now, with the six of cups here twice on your mind, Scorpio and Justice, some of you do want to reconcile with the past, but I'm just not getting that energy very heavily here. Why is the six of swords in reverse? This is just, you couldn't come to some sort of resolution. Yeah, and then the prince of swords in reverse, that would be like the page of swords in reverse. Cutting communication, cutting something out, right? Because there was no getting to those calmer waters. So you're just throwing yourself into something else. Now you have somebody in your environment, bring in the big fat wand. Let's see what this is. So this is something that makes you excited. You're taking action. It's something new. Can be a passionate new beginning. Ooh, queen of wands. I love her. I love her. Leo Sag Aries energy. All right. Who are all these queens? Scorpio, who are they? Who's this queen of wands in your environment? Who's this queen of wands? Who is it? Ooh, it's the lovers. Some of you guys have a new relationship coming in, especially if you're a male Scorpio. Could be a fire sign. Could be a Gemini. They have that in their chart. There's a lot of passion here. There's a decision, and I think it's a new love. Even for females, some of you have fire in your chart, and you have a new relationship coming in. You do the eight of wands with the arrows of love. It'll probably happen unexpectedly while you're hard at work because you're, you've cleared your energy. You've done a really good job of doing that and you know your worth. You're not going to stand for nights. You're not Scorpio because right now in your emotions. So this eight of wands is the arrows of love. It's a lot of back and forth communication. It's action and movement change. And it's all regarding, I think, a new relationship because in your emotions, you got the four uh, swords. Why? The two of pentacles, you're gaining stability. I think a lot of you have a lot going on outside of just love. And because you're going to be so focused on that, the new love comes in. You don't even see it coming because you're taking a little time out. You're probably meditative. You're resting. You're kind of recovering, just getting your thoughts together here. And it's because of the two of pentacles, you're regaining balance and stability. Some of you are juggling a lot that's going on because the two of pentacles can be, you're very busy. That's why you have that 10 of wands coming in too. Okay. I think you guys have a lot going on outside of just love, but then here it comes, right? Now the outcome, you have the high priestess. Why is she here? Why is she here? The eight of swords in reverse, because you're going to be honing in on your intuition. Again, a lot of you guys are like super psychic and spiritual and all that good stuff, right? The eight of swords in reverse, you're able to just release, right? Also too, you're not revealing everything here. There's stuff going on behind the scenes, right? With the queen of swords in reverse, cutting things out. Again, that queen of swords is slicing and dicing and you're just releasing. Some of you guys aren't even really going to want to concentrate on love here, but you have it coming. You don't even see it. Why is this queen of swords in reverse? The star. So you're healing, you're manifesting. Some of you guys are in the spotlight as well too. Working with others, three of pentacles, receiving your accolades, getting the pat on the back. The star here is very healing energy, big Aquarian energy there too. I think a lot of you guys have fire or maybe Aquarius in your chart. What's the star bringing though? This is wish fulfillment. And we have the page of cups. Oh no, I'm sorry. The prince of cups. So that would be the knight of cups. See new love. Scorpio, cancer, Pisces energy. Right. It's a, it's a prince. It's a knight. So be careful, Scorpio. That's why all this is happening. You guys are tired of the knights. What is this Prince of Cups bringing? The moon. A lot of, a lot of you guys, this is a Pisces coming in. Maybe a Cancerian. All right. What's this moon bringing though? This is like emotions, kind of the unknown. See the fool, new love. I don't feel like there's deception around this moon energy. I think that the moon, because the moon energy can be uncertainty. And remember, I was getting and I was feeling, you guys don't even see it coming because you're busy working on other things here. And then here you have it, the full new love. All right. 
lot of you have a new water sign coming in, or they have water heavily in their chart. All right. Say goodbye to the players. Mom here is not taking shit. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Okay, mom or dad, depending on your gender. You know your worth, and you're not taking the knights anymore. The knights can, well... <laughs>